director Pascal Weiss Domini. Thank you for honoring the trial of the Chicago 7 with the Capri Hollywood Award Fest Film of the Year, as well as the Los Angeles Italia Best Movie of the Year. It's an honor, and I thank you on behalf of everyone involved with the film. I wish everyone a great year ahead and continued health, well being, and happiness for all of us as we navigate 2021. Thank you, Capri World Institute and their very prestigious board chaired by producers Tony Raniz and Andrea Ervolino and the festival's director, Pascal Weiss Domini. Thank you for honoring the trial of the Chicago 7 with the Capri Hollywood Award Fest Film of the Year as well as the Los Angeles Italia Best Movie of the Year. It's an honor and I thank you on behalf of everyone involved with the film. I wish everyone a great year ahead and continued health, well-being, and happiness for all of us as we navigate 2021. Thank you so much, Aaron Sorkin, for this message you wanted to give uh, to Los Angeles Italia Festival. Welcome back. What a joy to have you here with me, my good, good fellow of, uh, friend, Dan McVicker, and this uh, kid, amazing kid. I love him so much as a child, as, as a son. Actually, he's a very good friend of my son, Matteo. Actually, the idea to be to have here tonight with us Federico Yelap is uh, by Matteo. The, the, why that you don't invite uh, for uh, in the studio uh, Federico with you tonight? I said you are a genius, uh, my, my boy. <laughs> and uh, so thank you so much for joining us. Federico Yelap is uh, the leading star of the movie Pinocchio by uh, Matteo Garrone, produced by Rai Cinema. Congratulations to Matteo Garrone and uh, to Rai Cinema for this uh, amazing movie. From congratulations to Federico for uh, starring uh, in this uh, wonderful way. Federico, how was uh, to be Pinocchio? It was amazing cause, because it's the first because I ever dreamed. I always dreamed to be Pinocchio and uh, my dream, my dream come true. Your dream came true. What a joy to have uh, such a kid uh, speaking. Eh? No, it's, it's, it's wonderful to hear that this, this uh, fine young man. His nose has returned to a normal, normal size. Yep. I'm, I'm glad to say from this angle, I can tell. And, but uh, uh, really a tremendous performance and also one that you were there in the makeup chair a lot. Uh, there, there were a lot of makeup changes for you. Uh, great patience for a young man. You were there in, in the makeup chair how long? Four hours and 30 minutes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, but, but we're going to talk uh, about it a little later because yes. we have with us some great friends that we're going to uh, celebrate because they are just nominated for an Oscar. Excuse me. And uh, <laughs> so, but uh, before, before, let me uh, tell again that uh, the movie Pinocchio will be the opening movie tonight uh, at 4 o'clock in Los Angeles, just there, the Chinese theater back uh, uh, where now we see live uh, that uh, there are cars uh, going back and forth. Uh, the life is uh, going uh, back to normality in Los Angeles. What do you think, uh, Daniel? Well, you'll be, you'll be able to see this film as the opening film for the festival in the cinema at the Chinese Theater in Los Angeles, which is just extraordinary. I'm my, my hat's off to you for all that you've done to be able to make this festival both live and doing the best as we can virtually in today's situation. Well, actually, let me tell you something. I am uh, very disappointed because uh, I promised Federico since uh, um, Christmas 2019 that he was going to come with his family, with me and my son, to Los Angeles for the festival last year. Then he had to go with Pinocchio and with uh, Matteo Garrone and Roberto Benigni to Berlin Film Festival. So considering... Uh, the Los Angeles uh, Italia, the Oscar were anticipated last year. Matteo Garrone says, Pascal, if you come to Los Angeles, uh, if he goes to Los Angeles, then it uh, won't be any more a surprise in Berlino. So Federico was a little disappointed and said, well, it's very important that they go with Roberto Benigni and uh, yeah. Matteo Garrone and I won't go to Los Angeles. So I said, no problem, you come with me next year. Then all this... Uh, Tremendous uh, things happen in this year, and also 2021st, we are not going yet to Los Angeles. I promise in front of our audience that uh, soon, I don't say when, so <laughs> nobody can make any joke to us, uh, you'll be in Los Angeles uh, enjoying the, ta the town, enjoying all the amazing theme park. Uh, there are a few Universal Studios, uh, 
Disney, Legoland in San Diego, no? Yeah. yeah. You're dreaming to go there. Yeah, thanks. And uh, yeah, it, it's yeah, it's it's my dream uh, since I was little because it's it's pretty cool. I've seen it only in fo- in the photos, but it's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what a joy to have this guy here. Well, today the program has been so far amazing and now will be really even more because going forward, yeah, happening so many things. We starting the day, we started the day with Andrea Morricone and Andrea Griminelli honoring the maestro Ennio Morricone with a special concert. Actually, we're going to see a little piece, now one more piece, then we're going to meet uh, again Andrea Griminelli and uh, the legendary maestro Tony Renis, but I'll tell you later. Then we had the pleasure to have with us here, um, live from Los Angeles, uh, Laura Pausini, Diane Warren, uh, Edoardo Ponti, and from Italy, Niccolò Iardi and Ibra Ghi for the movie uh, The Life Ahead, who actually is going to be the second movie of uh, this year Los Angeles Festival, because uh, if uh, um, uh, Pinocchio will start at 4 p.m. Los Angeles time, then to follow it will be the hour ceremony of Eduardo with the president of the festival, Andrea Iervolino, and the chairman, the Oscar winner, Nick Balelonga, and then the movie, the movie starring Sofia Loren and Ibra Ghi. And then, uh, of course, uh, so many more movies uh, during this week. Uh, we're going to have uh, um, tonight also the third movie will be Stefano Mordini movie the, the, with starring uh, uh, Valeria Golino, actually closed the Venice Film Festival. But, but uh, let me tell you, there will be uh, an incredible uh, section of uh, uh, movies uh, of the past year. Uh, a few recent, very recent, uh, they went to Berlino. And then uh, I want to remember the movie starring Monica Bellucci, who actually uh, directed by a Tunisian guy. We're going to have a tremendous lineup of uh, um, documentary, uh, um, uh, starting from Notturno by Gianfranco Rossi, who actually was the Italian nominated uh, movie for uh, the year. And, and of course, we're going to have Paolo Conte by Giorgio Verdelli, Fellini of the Spirits by Selma Dell'Olio, uh, Extra Liscio. Uh, by um, Miss Garby, Elisabetta Garby, and then uh, and then again uh, we're gonna have uh, an amazing uh, movie uh, written and uh, directed by Marco Pontecorvo, actually uh, Gillo Pontecorvo's son, starring uh, uh, Joaquin de Almeida and Darby Kettle, Fatima, and then. Uh, what a beautiful movie is uh, the one that George Gallo, the Italian-American director, directed. And on Friday, this is a movie uh, that uh, really celebrates Italian and American friendship. You know, Federico, that uh, Italy and America this year celebrate 160 years of friendship. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yes, and we're celebrating uh, our friendship here with uh, Dan McVeigh. No, it's and, very important. And, and, indeed, and you can go to LosAngelesItalia.com and you'll be able to see the whole full program. It's uh, every uh, afternoon and evening. You'll be able to see Italian films in Los Angeles at the Chinese Theater all the week before the Oscars. And uh, also, I want to remember you that uh, uh, we have two platforms uh, who actually shows uh, every single mm-hmm. day from uh, today until uh, next Saturday, uh, 163 movies. Uh, uh, the, the, um, ex- the artistic director, Antonella Cocco, did an amazing job as well as uh, uh, Gianluca Castagna. They selected 163 between, uh, among movies, documentaries, and shortcut. Yes, because uh, it's all about also young people. We want to support many young people. We, we got like 100 shortcut from so many nice and uh, upcoming filmmakers. So really, it's a, a, a joy to be both physical and, um, uh, and virtual uh, on, online. So before we start a conversation with a, an amazing group of friends, please let's uh, Pay attention on this uh, last song that today Andrea Morricone and Andrea Griminelli dedicated to, to the one and only Ennio Morricone. Thank you. 
and uh, welcome back to Los Angeles, Italia. I am very honored to have again here with us Andrea Griminelli, but on the top, let's show the all people we have here. Nino, facciamo vedere tutti gli amici che sono qui con noi e ci sono insieme ad Andrea Griminelli, uh, Massimo Cantini Parrini, candidato all'Oscar uh, per i costumi uh, di Pinocchio, uh, Francesco Pegoretti e Daria Colli, candidati uh, insieme a Marco Lie per um, il uh, film Pinocchio uh, Make Up and Air Style e dovrebbe esserci anche quella poltrona è vuota perché vuole fare l'entrata trionfale yeah, exactly. il maestro Tony Renis uh, che era fino a, lì fino a un minuto fa adesso Tony's, Tony's off writing another song. apparirà so let, welcome to all of you Andrea um, how was it to, to perform today with uh, your uh, colleague Andrea, Andrea Morricone in the name of Ennio Morricone great pleasure uh, I mean uh, I have a great memory thanks to you I played this uh, uh, piece uh, to Ennio Morricone uh, at, the, at the Walk of Fame in Los Angeles and it was a great experience for me and Ennio said Ennio Morricone said yeah, this now is uh, Andreas Clute, not the Gabriel Zobor. So uh, it was a great compliment. And uh, so we play with Andrea Morricone. Now Andrea is gone because he has something to do. But yeah, he has, uh, a, he he has very a, a very important thing to do. He just had uh, his wife just had the child uh, 10 days ago, no? Yes. So he had to go back uh, to his family. But uh, so now. We are planning also to play some more piece together, uh, thanks, uh, thanks to this new uh, duo, flute and piano, and also... Phenomenal, now, phenomenal. So, I say to you that uh, the triumphal entrance by the legendary music composer, Golden Globe winner, Oscar nominated, uh, uh, Sanremo winner, and uh, many million uh, records sold all over the world uh, through uh, his voice, then uh, Julio Iglesias, uh, Diana Ross, uh, um, Michael Bolton, Michael Bublé, Black Eyed Peas, uh, Andrea Bocelli, Celine Dion, ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Tony Renis. <laughs> Ti sei dimenticato Lana Ricci. Sorry, Lana Ricci, <laughs> Mr. Renis. <laughs> you are too, too bad to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, è un onore. You speak in English, per... please. Did you forget English? Eh, non ti sento bene, Pascal. You, I said uh, we speak in English, Tony. Sì, sure. In uh, uh, sometimes a few words in Italian they are not bad. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I gotta say that. Uh, this is a great opportunity that you did, Pascal, to have uh, the participation of the Chinese theater. This year is a, is a great conquer, and we are very proud to have, uh, to have our friends in LA uh, in connection with the festival that usually Usually we do there, all of us, unfortunately, because of this uh, pandemia, we are forced to stay here. But, uh, but I think that, uh, that it's going to be a great, a great festival. And, uh, and we are very, very happy. And uh, we dream that Sofia, the movie of Sofia, and in particular the song by my friend Diane Warren and my, my little daughter Laura Parsini, we hope really that they're going to win today and it's a great honor for Italy. If he's gonna win, it's the first time that one Italian song is gonna win the Oscar. 
I was dreaming many years ago with Andrea Bocelli and Celine Dion, we got the nomination and we were sure to win. Unfortunately, we didn't because the song that, that was a winner was a bad song, terrible songs, but that's what happened also sometimes in Hollywood. Not every time is gonna win the best, the best song. Now, uh, you now know, what makes a, Warren, what makes a song have, successful? Then is the, a, the no, people. Let me finish. Uh, I think that Diane Warren and Laura they have a great song this year, and we <laughs> hope that they're gonna win. But what makes a, a song legendary is uh, the people and. Uh, Everybody knows in the world uh, the prayer, the song you, you wrote with Carl Bielsiegel and David Foster, and uh, nobody remembers the song. Uh, I mean, I barely remember that uh, it was a song by Whitney Houston and Mariah Carey, but I don't remember either the title and either the, the music. Yeah. So you, the prayer is a uh, song by so many people, is a cover, is a, is a cult a, a song, standard. no? It's a standard, an absolute standard. The prayer, yeah. a beautiful song. <laughs> that this is uh, is more satisfaction, <laughs> but uh, you know, we were dreaming because we we already we won the the Golden Globe as a humanity, you know, and and uh, and uh, and then we were <laughs> were dreaming to win the Oscar and all of Hollywood, all our friends, they vote for us. <clears throat> but unfortunately, the, the voting people, they are more than 6,000. That means that, uh, that uh, it's not easy. It's, n it's not easy sometimes, sometimes. And most of the uh, Pinocchio trailer, and uh, then we talk with uh, Massimo Cantini Parrini, Francesco Pegoretti, and Dalia Colli. Avevo pensato di fabbricarmi con le mie mani, proprio da me, un burattino di legno. Pinocchio, dai, di qualcosa. Babbo. Svegliatevi! Mi è nato un figlio! Così, da un giorno all'altro? Da un giorno all'altro, da un minuto all'altro. Guarda Pinocchio, guarda. Uno e due. Se fai come me, fra due o tre giorni già puoi camminare da... Pinocchio! Un burattino come noi. Tu chi sei? Pinocchio. Ascoli! Lo seminiamo, nasce una piantina. Stracolma di zecchini. Sono stato derubato! Perché che non in prigione? Oh, in prigione! Che sta succedendo al naso? un burattino voglio diventare un bambino come tutti gli altri live from hollywood with federico ielapi starring as pinocchio federico yeah i will never have that much words to be grateful to matteo he gave me he gave me a big opportunity and I hope um, I did well. You did very well, no, Daniel? Thanks. Indeed. Indeed. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're uh, certainly on the screen you see a tremendous talent, but in person you're a, a delightful young man. <laughs> yes, and uh, you can, uh, if you are in Los Angeles, you can go to the theater, Chinese theater today at 4 p.m. and you'll be able, uh, if there are uh, seats enough, uh, 
to to have this uh, particular opportunity to appreciate on the big screen, the IMAX screen of the Chinese theater, uh, this movie. So, um, Massimo, how how difficult for you was uh, to get uh, this job done? Uh, what uh, inspired you most to make uh, such masterpieces uh, that uh, are uh, uh, now in competition for the Oscar? <clears throat> yeah, it, it, it was very difficult for me because the inspiration is the most difficult things to, to have. You know, the idea is the, is, for me, is really, really, really difficult. But for Pinocchio, uh, we did well because we saw the first um, prints from the book, from, Collod from Collodi's book, the original one, that inspired me a lot. And Matteo Garone was agreed because nobody uh, represent this word before it was a new um, language for for us so we 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 start from reality we start from the poverty of of that period and i i made a, a very big documentation of uh, uh, macchiaioli the the famous italian painting of uh, 19th century the toscany one and then we made more than 60 costumes and we made all new and then made uh, really, really dirty and with patches and, you know, we, we, we dye, we bleach it for, for make them really, really real and poor, as Matteo likes. So, Dalia, before Federico told us that he was uh, working with um, the makeup uh, artist uh, for enough hour to become uh, Pinocchio every single day, it was a good boy, a very patient. Yes, of course, ciao Federico. Uh, sure, he was a, a, our hero, our little uh, child in wood. But uh, unfortunately, I, I, I didn't care, take care of uh, him because um, I, I organized uh, all the, the makeup department. And so I take care of uh, uh, all the characters that uh, hadn't uh, uh, so much prosthetics inter intervention. And, and, but I know and I see every day uh, Federico entering, entering in, the, in, in the van, in the track, <laughs> like a, a, a little uh, beautiful boy. And when he finished his makeup uh, and uh, came out of the track, uh, he was our very, very, very hero, hero in wood. Well, it seems that uh, you guys, Italians, are very, very good in this type of job. Alessandro Bertolazzi and Giorgio Gregorini, they won recently an Oscar. Actually, we celebrated them at Chinese theater for this amazing Warner Bros. A movie and now it's you Francesco, you Dalia and Marc uh, with an American gentleman also uh, uh, Alessandro and uh, Giorgio had an American uh, gentleman with them working but you know a great uh, friendship, a great uh, team, uh, Italian American uh, gets uh, very high to the Oscar position. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Um, so uh, I completely agree, but also this this project, this movie, was a big opportunity to work everybody together. We is a good, good uh, uh, relationship with the whole department, with the, the prosthetics, uh, between me, Dalia, Massimo, with the costume. So everybody, we are working together for this amazing movie. Uh, so uh, with uh, with the English people, with American, so I love to work everybody together is a, was a good uh, good challenge for for everybody uh, to create the characters uh, different uh, so this is I'm, I'm, i agree with you and i have to say that um the, this film is a collaboration of so many people and so many talents and that's the indi indicative of the, the finest parts of filmmaking because it is a collaborative effort uh, between yeah. certainly actors, but then uh, uh, all the arts come together in a film with the music and the, the 
make, making the costumes, makeup, and the hair. That's what, as actors, we're closest to. But the, the scenografia, I'm speaking too much Italian these days. I forget <laughs> the, the, the art set direction. Set decoration. The set director, decoration and art direction. Thank you. Thank you, Pascal. Art for, the, art uh, the production design. Uh, and, of course, it all starts with the story and the writer. Uh, so we're, everybody gets on board the same train, the same direction, and, and makes something beautiful to touch the audience. And, and that's why film, I think, is so powerful. But that's also what makes a, a, a festival like this between Los Angeles, America, and Italy so powerful is, is, is the cultures coming together or it, the Italian culture coming back to America that we all love so much there. Massimo, um... Um, it, it's uh, the truth that uh, uh, Matteo Garrone really bel believe uh, you did an amazing job since uh, he uh, realized that uh, Pinocchio uh, was not going to represent mm. Italy for the Oscar because uh, the commission selected uh, a documentary, Notturno. Uh, he keep uh, anyway insisting that uh, you should have uh, had a nomination, you guys, because he says... Well, there is, if there is the perfection in job, this is uh, Massimo Custom, Dalia and Francesco uh, 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 art for uh, the characters. So, uh, Matteo Garrone knows uh, very well his job and he has the, the, the taste of uh, understanding uh, what really makes uh, the difference in this job, no? Yeah, absolutely. Matteo knows very, very, very well his job our job too, he has a very big um, vision culture. So he came from paintings, he was an artist before. So he knows really, really good how to do all frames. And was exciting to, to work with uh, him and everybody because um, Francesco says that we were a team, and it's true. We, we had many people to, to help us as well. I have amazing team too. Uh, my, my, my assistant, my seamstress, all the people that dine the costumes and the age in the costumes. So uh, the movie was really big to done. All the, all the jobs are new. We, we didn't rent anything. So it, it was really um, well done and well made everything. Dalia, what did Matteo Garrone say to you when uh, he hired you and uh, this was your first job with him? No, no, absolutely not. I met uh, Matteo Garrone in 2007, in 2007 for Gomorra. Uh, that was the first time that I worked with him. And it was a very exciting experience. And I, I learned a lot of think of the life in, <laughs> in this occasion. And um, well, with Matteo, we, we, we worked together uh, a lot of times. And for this, I'm very happy because every time that I work with Matteo, I can I can uh, uh, live a new experience and and sure um, I think that he is uh, the best director uh, in this moment because I think that in his head there is a a word very <laughs> big another word uh, and he lives in his world and I'm happy that he he, he let me. Uh, enter in this magic world and uh, and uh, to, to to stay with him and create this sort of movie and this sort of characters. Um, with Matteo, we we we, um, we shoot it uh, reality. Uh, I say well in 2012, I think, and um, I, I won my first tablet of Davide Donatello with this movie. Uh, he, it was a, 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 a moment very uh, particular in my life because I, I, uh, I was just um, became mom, mama, mother, and with my little daughter we we left we, we left for uh, Naples and we lived uh, this uh, experience together for reality. And never I mentioned say, what? No, no, sorry. I mentioned before about. Uh, um, Bertolazzi and Gregorini for Suicide Squad, they won the Oscar. Uh, me this means that uh, uh, even for an American movie, the Italian art is always uh, very, very important. Francesco, um, beside uh, every type of uh, influence of this global world, the Italian taste, the Italian flavor, the Italian style, 
still uh, is a big deal in the world, no? Yeah, it's true. There, there is, we have a big traditional uh, work for, about hair and makeup in the world. Everybody knows uh, this. Uh, I don't know why, but there is a big tradition with a, for a, a costume uh, makeup and hair coming from Italy. Um, I, the, the English American people love like a lot love a lot to, to work with us. I'm, I'm so proud about. Uh, for me too, uh, um, I, I like to work. I love to work with the uh, American English people uh, because uh, um, we carry on this big tra uh, tradition to, about makeup and hair. Yes, Tony, uh, Renis, uh, your legend is known all over the world. This year in, we celebrate 160 years of friendship between Italy and America. Now, if there is somebody Italian that arrived in America and was welcome as a, 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 a young fellow to support, this, this was the young Tony Renis when you first arrived in America. How difficult was to succeed, Tony, being a young Italian musician? <laughs> no. I don't think that uh, for me it wasn't so difficult. I was, uh, I think that I was lucky, lucky because when I decide it was my dream since I was a little kid, it was my dream to go to Hollywood, to, uh, to Broadway, to America. And I and I had the chance to know and became a great friend of, of already the genius in the music that he was, my brother Quincy Jones. And he you Fico. when he told me when he told me he, No <laughs> Fico, he called me Yeah, he called you Fico. <laughs> I'm I'm Fico. For Quincy, he called me Fico. Uh, Fico, <laughs> Fico. And, uh, and when he told me, he told me, uh, hey, if you have the chance to come to Los Angeles, give me a call. I didn't uh, expect a uh, long time to bring the plane, to take the plane and go to Los Angeles to call him. And I start to stay living in his house for almost a year. That's why, that's why, that's why for me uh, to be in America and to have a success and to know the most important personality that I was dreaming since I was a little kid, it wasn't so difficult. But I think that I'm one of the, exception because it is very true that America opened the door to everybody but if you don't deserve if you don't show your talent they so fast they are gonna close the door that's <laughs> why that's why it's not easy and my my opinion my opinion is uh, in any way is better to try because America is a great country and uh, if you have some chances, they give it to you a lot of possibility of success. And, and uh, that, that's why America is America. Yeah, and that's what, and, and Tony, you've got the goods. That's what America says. You got to have the goods. If you bring it, if, you, if you're coming, you got to bring it. And you brought it, and you brought it with your heart. And I think that's been, yeah. from my observation, uh, the secret to to your success. But for me, as a as somebody who actually knew you in Los Angeles, uh, you also brought the Italian culture to everybody with such passion and with such joy. Starting with your passion for making a plate of spaghetti uh, with your tomato sauce. And uh, moving from the basics on up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, uh, I was also using my <clears throat> my my brain uh, that uh, that that when I went 
to the a lot of friends of mine they were telling me tony uh, if you go to los angeles you must go to the best hotel is the beverly hills hotel on sunset and uh, and uh, there you can uh, can meet uh, uh, actors producer uh, uh, you know uh, everybody in in the entertainment especially the movie stars that it was my dream i was starting to be to shoot uh, starring some movies in italy but my dream was uh, go to los angeles and try go to hollywood and try maybe to find somebody that is going to give me a great chance and i went to this beautiful hotel i was uh, uh, spending most of my my money that i start to get from my song quando 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 was uh, 1962 and 1962 my song was a huge success uh, all over the world but especially in america in america was a huge success but nobody knew who was tony renis no that's why that's why <clears throat> i went to this beautiful hotel i rent the best bungalow the best bungalow and every morning i went to the swimming pool because my friends said you must go to the swimming pool you have the cabanas a beautiful swimming pool with the cabanas and 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 i and, and you there you can find a lot of possibility i did and every morning i went to the swimming pool i got my cabana my ombrellone my everything i was <laughs> watching try nobody gave me a shit and nobody 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 i try everything a certain moment i got one idea i got one idea in that time we didn't have the cellular and the all the most important personality in the swimming pool they were joined by a certain kind of page they call a page you know uh, they were uh, uh, everybody they received the most important personality uh, the telephone call from the studios from the office from the secretary and every and every single moment i was listening mr gregory peck at the telephone mr kurt agras at the telephone mr sanish say my god and i got the idea i went to the operetta with he was out my first album in the united states with capital tony rainis rising stallion star quando 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 and uh, i went to the operetta and i and i and i told her this is my album i um, i give it to you is is the best song in the album is quando 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 was a really huge success in the united states and the operetta said oh quando 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 yes when it was for you i i give her the 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 signature the autograph and i was asking her please would you please to be to be nice to be kind to call me every 10 minutes to page me every 10 minutes <laughs> and uh, and she st- she was so nice lady and every single 10 minutes mr tony rennis at the telephone and i and i went to the telephone i always uh, say yeah. and after a couple of days i became the most request artist in hollywood this was i was using my brain so, so, you, so you were doing instagram before instagram you did it with the <laughs> telephone from the beverly hills hotel pool yeah. so <laughs> this is a, 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 this is a, our uh, 
Los Angeles Award, mm -hmm. the Ma Puccinella Mask for Federico. Wow. Yes, yes, for you. Bello. Yes, you get an award. It's, and of course, yes, you deserve it because you did an amazing job Thanks. as Pinocchio. And, uh, and of course, there is a mask also for Marco Cantini Parrini, Massimo Cantini Parrini, mm -hmm. uh, Dalia Colli, and Francesco Pegoretti. Massimo, you are uh, coming from a great tradition in custom. You, you were a student uh, by, um, uh, with the Maestro Piero Tosi. What do you carry in your art of the lesson that Ma Maestro Piero Tosi gave you? Mm -hmm. um, I, 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 you know, I have a, a, a really, really good memory. I miss him a lot. He passed away two years ago, and for me, it's a big, big, uh, it's a huge um, sad things for me because I was friend for with Piero for 25 years old 25 years and and I am I miss him so much um Piero at school it wasn't a teacher it wasn't um um it wasn't a costume designer too he was a really uh, his lessons they were like a, a life lessons, not just a costume, uh, a costume lesson. So I, I had a good, good, good memory of, 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 of that time, and I, and I worked with Gabriela Pescucci too. So I, I, I've been her assistant for ten years, more than ten years. So all Pier, all the Pierotosi school was in my <coughs> blood. And I hope to continue his tradition. Yeah, you are an amazing Massimo, really. The whole world is for you. And Francesco, so you Thank went to me about it, Italian worldwide. So how does it feel to represent Italy on Sunday for uh, this important uh, opportunity that comes from the Oscar? You are an Oscar nomi nominated hairstylist. Yeah, I am an Oscar uh, nominated for a stylist, but uh, I feel uh, with me all my country, Italy. So I, rep I am so proud to represent uh, Italy, my category uh, uh, for, uh, for the Oscar. So uh, it's a big emotion for me, a uh, big responsibility uh, for, for, for myself, for my, my job, of course, for, for, the, mov for the movie. Uh, especially for for the for Italy, the, for for my uh, for all Italy. Federico, last word to you. So, what is your feeling for your important movie, uh, Pinocchio, going to the Oscar with two nominated artists? I mean, we have three nominated: Massimo Cantini Parrini, Dalia Colli, and Francesco Pegoretti. What's your feeling? I'm so happy and um, and um, I'm happy because um, they nomina nominated Pinocchio and um, Massimo Cantini Parini, Francesco Pegoretti and Dalia. I'm so happy that they nominated them at the Oscars and even Mark Lear because um, yeah, they they deserve it. I hope it would win because they deserve it a lot. And uh, do, you wanna, Fede, do, you, do you want to congratulate to with uh, uh, Roberto Benigni, Geppetto, yeah, because he yeah. just got the Golden Leo, the best uh, award uh, for from the Venice Film Festival, like uh, the Lifetime Achievement Award is going to be delivered and presented to Roberto Benigni early September 2021. Congratulations, Roberto, and I'm, and it was my dream working um, um, near you, and my dream come true. A lot of my dreams come come true. So thank you again to you guys, and thanks to um, Tony Renis, who actually is uh, our mentor, our leader. Without uh, him, uh, this festival, Los Angeles Italia, would never happen. Uh, as well as uh, he has been very important for creating Ischia Global and Capri Hollywood. Mr. Uh, Mr. Mida, that when I, whatever Tony <laughs> Renis touches become gold. Pascal, it's not me, it's you. 
you are okay. you are the genius not me <laughs> you, are. you are the genius so thank you, you everybody you um i want to really, very much guys i want to really uh, say in Crepi. bocca al lupo to massimo dalia and francesco Crepi. and tony renis we're gonna Crepi, Crepi. see more during the next days because of the festival keep going from today until saturday check the program on internet on uh, losangelesday.com on the website uh, you you can go and double check the movies on the two platforms uh, eventive.org and uh, mymovies.it daniel and if you're in los angeles uh, there's limited seats available only 25 percent capacity so make sure you arrange for your tickets come go down to the cinema and see some movies in person uh, tonight uh, also uh, there'll be the big opening uh, eduardo ponti will also be there uh, for his, his film uh, so uh, uh, go see you see tomorrow movie. more or less the same time with more guests for los angeles italia 2001 so grazie mille <laughs>